Hi, glad you could join us for another look at the HD Base T Analyzer menu and its functions. Today, we'll talk about the second menu, the Tools menu. Before we begin, we want to remind you that if something is not clear or if you are running into any difficulty, we're always available by email at support at m4sol.com. So let's start with the Tools menu. In this menu, you will find a number of powerful tools for testing the quality of the HD Base T broadcast. Let's begin with the HDMI generator. This tool streams HDMI content over the cable with the objective of testing transmission performance under real life conditions. In this window, you can choose the desired HDMI pattern. As soon as you choose the format, a list of available resolutions will be displayed. Choose the desired one and press apply. At this point, Content will be streamed over the link, and you will be able to check the system's live streaming performance via the basic menu screens that you learned about in the previous video presentation. Very good! Now let's go back to the Tools menu and open the EDID Analyzer window. Here you will be able to view data on the monitor or projector to which your video source is connected. The EDID screen lists the resolution and capabilities currently supported by the monitor or projector. You can save the EDID data as a file in binary or text format for future use. Let's go back to the Tools menu and have a look at the Certification Report screen. The exclusive MS Test Pro Certification Report provides an immediate and comprehensive evaluation of the HD Base T readiness of an attached cable and exports the results to a PDF file. Let's start by clicking on the Profile button and selecting the type of cable. By the way, you'll receive a 25-year warranty on a built-in cable if you submit this test result, so don't miss this great opportunity. Now, select the cable's manufacturer and return to the previous pane. In the event that you can't locate your cable's manufacturer, the cable will be tested using a standard testing profile. Tap on the Run button to begin collecting information on the quality of the transmission. Tap on the Download Report Data button to download your accumulated report data to a USB memory stick connected to the test device or directly to the computer. If required, tap on the Download PDF Creator Software button to download the Report Generator software. Now let's have a look at the test results, which are found in the next two pages. One page for the transmitter, the other for the receiver. Both pages display the same parameters and are presented in the same format. At the top of the page, you can immediately see whether or not the cable has passed the certification test. Underneath, you can review the result data and determine if the installation is of the required quality or whether additional tests are required. In this section, you can see the chip type inversion, the cable length, and the pixel clock speed, either 1080p or a 4K resolution, which is indicated as 297 megapixels. As you know, the HD Base T cable contains four distinct pairs that are tested separately by the MS Pro test device. In the next section, two tables with error information appear. The upper table contains max error readings, while the lower table contains MSE error results. Next to each table is a graph showing the performance of each pair over time. Just to review, max error or maximum error predicts the likelihood that an HD Base T data link running over the cable will experience a bit error. MSE error, or mean square error, describes the signal to noise ratio of the data link running over the cable. Okay, that's it for now. In the next video, we will continue with the rest of the functions in the tools menu. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Enjoy using the product and remember, we're here to assist you.